the aim of what we do is to inspire people. Now, what inspires you? Oh, what inspires me? So much. People. You, know, you, Michelle, inspire me. People inspire me because life is really hard. Yeah. Really hard. And people just keep going. They just keep trying in all the brokenness and all the despair. They just find a way. Yeah. My mum inspires me. She's an incredible woman. My dog inspires me. <laughs> Seriously, because a dog is just like, I just, I just love you. Cat's just like, you gotta earn this. But a dog, <laughs> a dog is just like, <laughs> it's true, you know, yeah, a cat it's is, cat is like, you know, it's like when you used to have those relationships where it's like, what have done wrong? If you don't, if you, if you don't, I don't tell you. You know, you obviously don't value me enough. It's that kind of relationship with a cat, but with a dog, they're just like, just feed. Yeah. Just, yeah. just, <laughs> just all that stroke my ears and then rub on the, on the belly. But again, it's that, that point of like, a dog just basically says, you're here, I'm here, and I love you. Mm. So it's anything that's related to that. Mm. Um, when I see people doing things I can't do, mm. when I've like in, when I've trained somebody or taught somebody or whatever, and they've gone past me, that's really cool. Mm. When I see people who are kind, that inspires me because mm. like a lot of people can be cold, mm. and that's not cool. Um, anything where I see people overcome adversity because it's not about what they do; it's about the fact that they can give up. Mm. Um, children inspire me. Because people think children have it easy, it just comes natural to children, like it's this they all automatically happy and have these energy. Mm -hmm. And actually it's, if I look back to my own childhood, that's not true at all. Children, some children go through horrendous things. Mm -hmm. And despite that, they, they give all this love and, and stuff like that. Um, nature inspires me. Nature is just incredible. The you know, just just look around. You know, um, it's incredible. All sorts of different people. One man I've got to, you know, mention Les Brown. Les Brown inspired me. The best motivational speaker I've ever heard, yeah. ever. Why he inspires me because he cares. Again, he's got a big heart, and he's like, I'm going to inspire you so you can believe in yourself and you can go off and do. It. And he, and it's like a, like a family, you know. It's those he inspires me. Um, so inspiration, you know, if you look at the etymology of the word, you look about it, the spirit inside, and it can be anything. Mm. You know, back to the mug, you know, it's like anything can go in the mug. So anything can inspire me. You know, this morning inspired me looking at the, the sun behind these two high blocks. It, that inspired me. I think it's more like be open to being inspired and you'll find ways. Like a lot of people just waiting to be like triggered. You know, they're waiting for an opportunity to shout at you, have a go at you. They're just waiting for somebody to, oh, I'm glad you asked. Mine's more like look for an opportunity to, to be inspired and find it. So yeah, anything if you're yeah. looking for it. Yeah, no, that that sounds amazing because a, a lot of time we lose touch with the simplest of things. Yeah. You know, what I mean that that we really can inspire, like say, looking at the sun, looking at the sky. Sometimes you look up, you're like, my days, so blue, so big. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's yeah, you know what I mean. That wonder, things, have that know. because. Otherwise, the, the worst thing, and this is the paradox, of it, and like, I have to say this, the word paradox to me is essential, right? So I, I used to think things are either one way or the other. <laughs> They're not the both, all right? So embracing that paradox, and life is paradoxical, it's wonderful and terrible and all that kind of stuff. So like you just said, that wonder, that ability to be like, it could be raining and yet it's not, is awesome. So that when it is raining, you're just like, yeah, but the sun's just around the corner. You know it's true. So we get so caught up in these, like, trying to make these things happen and these, I want it this way, that we, including me, forget what's what's here. Mm. And that's really difficult, that the mm. past, present, and future, playing that out, we spend way too much time on one or the other. Mm. For me, it used to be a lot, I'm trying to work on more being present and future. Mm. You start to be past or future, never present, mm. and getting better on the present now. Mm. But you do, you get dragged back into 20 years ago, five years ago, two days ago. It's like, no, come back, come on. It's like you literally, it's like the back of the dog, like, come here. But I want to go over there. Now we know what's back there. Come on, come on. And that kind of thing, pulling back, like I say, just looking and going, I'm here for today, you know. And that's enough sometimes. Yeah, amazing.